Eric Tov, Chavri Mom, Steve Embernoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Just a quick take here before we bring you the uh, later, the stories later this evening here as Shabbat has begun in this part of the world. I uh, wanted to share with you the Dow plunges over 600 points as UK's earthquake crushes global markets. Uh, it is a major volatile situation. CNN Money is reporting this as well as RT News, others have already picked up on the story as well. U.S. stocks followed plunging global markets. The Dow ended the day down, uh, down 611 points, over 3.4%, while the S&P 500 lost 3.6%. The NASDAQ Composite Index dropped 4.12%. Uh, into cor uh, correction territory or down 10% from its recent high. Uh, well, you know, when you look at the percentages, it doesn't seem that bad, and no doubt they'll probably recover anyway after the shock wave of what Britain has done uh, settles in the, in the around the rest of the world. It really should not be a major issue because... Well, hello, they used to not be a European Union uh, after all, but uh, the British pulling out is going to cause havoc for the rest of the EU members because the British uh, were contributing a large sum of money, uh, British pounds, in the money they would put in to help keep the EU going. That money being gone, and then possibly France will leave later. It's only going to lead to a spiraling, and maybe all the EU company, countries will unravel. But... Remember, though, it doesn't change anything when it comes to a new world order, because that's exactly what they've got. The United Nations, NATO, you would have to have all that unravel before your new world order would unravel as well. But no doubt it does cause an ec economic upheaval, and it only makes you wonder whether or not the U.S. will really consider war. Will the Obama administration actually go to war with Russia now in order to kind of Force EU to stay into the, or force Britain to stay into the EU. Not really sure on that, but I just want to give you a quick update on that. And uh, I think the markets will kind of stabilize a little bit to come next week. But the shockwave of what the British have done have certainly affected the markets. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.